Hello everybody and welcome back to Eldritch, where we shoot aliens in the face, cut them up with knives and become one with the universe while we're at it. So, let's see, we're kind of trapped. oh, okay, so it does immediately start up without asking me to load into anything. Still don't know if I'm drowning or not. What the fudge is that thing? Is that like... What the hell is that thing? Let's go that way. Uh, I know my boots will protect me from fall damage. But it wasn't... Oh, door. I hear a door. I don't see anything yet. Ah, there's our familiar sound again. Ding. There's something crawling around. Sounds pretty important here. Well, you know, hearing your enemies coming for the attack and whatnot. Must. Wow. Bullets. Lots and lots of bullets. To potentially fight off Potato Man over there. Or whatever its normal name is. For me, he will be known as Potato Man. Yeah. Top of that. Okay. Baked meat. Rotten meat. Uh, I'm not gonna eat that. My taste palate goes beyond rotten meat. Besides, it can be good for you. I mean, weird diseases and stuff like that. Yes, I... I know. Still, food etiquette. Well, not etiquette, but you know, what to eat, what not to eat. You could save your life at some point. Also, why is this weird floor? I'm going to not step on you. Anyway, is Potato Man here? I hear him. Let's see. Is that the exit? Oh, you can go back floors. Ah, okay. Probably respond all the enemies as well. Anyway, let's go take another look at Potato Man here. Where the hell is he? See an enemy down there. I'm not gonna shoot him. He's not. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's on me. Hey. Oh, yeah. oh. hey, to you too. Now you're down there. Let's see what good stuff you have. One, that's it. I hear potato man. <laughs> there he is. Am I hitting him? <laughs> Ow! Not a potato man. Oh god. Run! Just... just... fuck! Run! Oh man, is Potato Man following me? Oh, yep he is. Ah, he can't fit through here, now can he? I hope not. I sincerely hope not. <sighs> Still kicking. Potato man. No. Oh, those guys, basically. Where did I leave that meat? Where's the meat? Where's the meat? This looks like a useful door. Oh, there is one. Rotten meat, I will not eat. I have made myself clear on that. Potato man is nowhere to be seen. So I will carefully maneuver my way to a safer position. Alright. 
these guys that's a wrong spot for a spike just <clears throat> is that a potato man or is that an eye that's an eye that also thought it would be a good idea to see what those spikes were about either that or potato man killed them all open for evil man that's a worm it's also dead People tend not to stay alive here very long I wonder why oh I see meat this is good it's rock I'm starting to think that bubbly noise is coming from my special power here. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Something's able to open doors though. Where did I leave that meat guy? So you're alive again. Why don't you go kill yourself on some spikes? Let's climb this pyramid if I don't see anything. Oh man. Are it two up there or is that just one potato dude? Oh jeez. Oh, potato man. Potato man, you're one evil dude. Um, and I don't want to like you. Now, I can't really see there's another one up there. And being wrong about such a thing could end your life. Is there a potato man? Where's the, is the other one still here? If not, then it's time to go investigate it. Let's see. Alright. Sniping mode, sneaky mode active. There's nothing here. So what's this thing all about then? Soul of Dagon. You clutch a strange blue orb. It hums in response to your touch and vibrates as if trying to shake itself free. As your fingers tighten around it, you are struck with a sudden and unbinding insight that within it, this unearthly sphere, the soul of the ancient deity Dagon is beginning to wake. A vision drifts through your mind like a long forgotten memory of mortal fear, unchecked destruction, and then a clandestine ritual and uneasy peace. The vision fades, giving way to a sick feeling of emptiness, the soul of Dagon stirs in the silence. You can now unlock the next book in the library. <laughs> God damn it, Potato Man! <sighs> Fuck that shit. Deposit everything. Right? That's everything deposited? Yeah. <sighs> I'm alive. Pick meat, yay! Pick meat, yay! Is there anything else to do here? Other than reading tons and tons of books. Fruit. So you can read these things? Book. Uh, that's just tutorialization stuff. There's money here. Bing. Bing. What else is here? <laughs> yeah, we'll leave that there before we get killed. There's our exit. Three pedestals means we'll probably need three items, which means three levels. Even though there are four books here. Examine a strange book, examine a strange book. 
Let's have a look around the library and see what's up. Books. Ah, oh, I'm not gonna read through all of these. Don't waste power. That's a big ass library. Anyway, we're not here to read. We're here to shoot things in the face. So let's get on with just that. Maybe we'll make a special out of this. There we go. We know that works. Let's move on to book number two. Is it the shiny one here or... Was this book here before the pages of the book flap? Well, yes, and I see what's rules around you. The mountains of madness await. Cool. We're outside now. Why don't we just use this to escape? The keys to the airplanes are missing. You can't take off without them. Aww. So do I find the keys here or is... Is there something I am missing? Soapstone. A greenish star shaped fragment of soapstone that has no effect. Then why would I want to switch my compass out with it? People and watching this now y'all and crap the soapstone! You'll have to use it in level 433 to get something. Uh, probably not, though. Is there anything else here we can do? Like that will be a new So let's dive into what I think will be level two. Now we got whales or something to deal with. So those are ice picks, which I know will be doing something because I know my boots are to protect me against this. And people are killing themselves over things here. I hope they're killing themselves. If this is completely the wrong way to be, then let me know. Penguin. hostile straight away but seeing that everything in this game is out to kill me I can only assume the answer to that question is yes of course you dummy what were you thinking not much to do around here so what else is there a hole that leads down and on the other side we have Another hallway, which I can't get to from this side, it seems. Yeah. <coughs> hmm. Maybe with some brilliant platforming. Not that I'm known for my brilliant platforming. Stick a dynamite to help. The penguin is out to kill me. Uh, I am a friend. Are you a 
out to kill me or are you just being mates? You're out to kill me. Lord, I forgot. And he's off into the depths of the moon. With hopefully no penguins trying to kill me. Potentially. Hopefully. Pots. Uh, those are new. And behind pot number two, we have an artifact. Ooh, let's go break some stuff. Can I get back up, please? Ah, uh, yeah. Don't know how this will do as a weapon. <coughs> Penguin? No. Are you out to kill me or are you just being? I gotta wait for it. <coughs> I have now become the Minecraft man. Oh, come on, you knew that joke was coming. Now. Now I get dynamite. Fear me, because now I can go anywhere I damn well please. Oh. Why? <coughs> penguin! Penguin, penguin, penguin. I'm gonna get my knife back. Penguin, penguin, penguin. Ah, another one, can wing. Well, at least I got this dynamite here where I can make another hole if I so please. You will be missed, dear pickaxe. Penguin man over there. Cloak power. Press to cloak yourself. While you're cloaked, the enemies cannot see you. The effect wears off after a short time. Careful, enemies can still hear you while. Now there's power I can get behind. Twice my size now. That's a bit disturbing. Other than that, I think we're doing pretty well. And seeing that I don't think you can level up or anything here, there's no need to try and kill everything in here. So, this has just turned into a stealth simulator 2014. <laughs> Penguins are fighting stuff again. You can't see me, I am doing stuff. I'm still ducked right now. No, 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 no. Yes, walk away. Thank you. 
pots and everything, and the fowls get treasure and dun dun. There. I don't see a lot of health lying around here. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to be here, or if I just mistook a wrong book somewhere. Um, I haven't gotten hit yet. Where are you going? You're going this way? Fine, and I'll go through the open door behind you. Yeah, stealth. There's another one. Oh, I think he's looking at me. <laughs> Where did he go? He magically disappeared. Other than that, uh, I will take my leave now. Hey, at least we got a rock. That should piss him off. Saw me, I don't know, but he's, I think he's coming my way. He's not firing at me yet, so. And hop, and hop, and there we go. And over here we have things in pots. Volume 3. Much to be seen here. Not even. Oh, there's keys. Got plenty of keys. Not a lot of doors, though. Hmm. So, do I go down this way? Let's see how many bullets you take. <coughs> Three bullets. So I can take down a few. If I so choose. Let's go take a look at that ugly fuck. It's like a fish with wings. That decides that it rather runs on the ground. It has legs, and besides that, why would I not use these? I don't know. Anyway, there's a red set. Let's see if we can get to it. Up. Let's use our super special ability here. You cannot see what has been seen yet. They only take one knife. Though, so <clears throat> if I can sneak up on the little dudes, well, not little dudes, they're kind of big. Oh no. I hear bubbly sounds again, which means potato men are back. And it's already killing everything. Can't we all just get along? Uh, the sound's coming from there, so I'm staying the hell away from it. Uh, what do we have over here? A wall. Well, might be able to get to that icon over there through here. Those are shops, right? Let's see if there's anything I want. Potato man. Jump boots. Camping kit. Grappling gun. Fires hook to attach a climbable rope to any solid object. 
Chip Fire Dog. Let's take a look at the potato man. The sugar burbles incoherently at you. Now can tell prices. You think about that one? No, it happened. <coughs> a hatchet. A hefty weapon good for chopping down dwarves. Did I? Oh, I just bought that thing. Damn. Well, it's a better thing. We'll be able to chop some heads with this one. Now I need 16 to get to a. F Although, I think I might take up my other weapon slot, so. Penguin saw me. Stay away from me. Ow. 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 Aha. Come and get me in here. Also a good way to chop down pots, but then again, we don't need as much to take down pots. Now, do you? Can I get out of here? Please, some way. Don't tell me there's no way out. Are you fucking kidding? You want to tell me that I can't get out? Oh, I can jump two blocks high. I didn't even know that yet. That could have saved me some trouble. Oh, no, 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 no. I used to be able to jump. Is that a climbing ability or something? Pickaxe. Now oh, that's a cool thing to have. Yep. Yep. There. Oh, he's following me up here. Look, the penguins! Take out the penguins, leave me out of it. I didn't think he would actually listen to me. What a nice thing. Alrighty then. Can we do anything at the campfire? Now that I have. Ah! That's just how it's okay. it because I don't come across too many doors. Ooh, treasure. Let's dig our way towards that first. Ooh, lots of doors here. Bank chest. Um, I don't really think I need to. That's a deep 
gold. But if there's nothing of interest here, I don't see the point of sticking around <coughs> too much longer. Doesn't die. Oh shit! Oh god! Die, you penguin! Of evil. Damn, these guys are pretty tough. Well, either that or this pickaxe isn't really a good thing to chop heads with, which kind of makes sense because it's a bloody pickaxe. Then again. I think getting hit with one of these is probably a bit more painful than a knife. You know, internal bleeding and whatnot. Do I get no different uses out of this thing or is it a one type deal? Hmm. I think I'm gonna stick with my gun though. Although this is pretty useful. Now, I was talking about that exit. There's a campfire. So let's warm up a bit. <sighs> Penguin can't catch me. How the hell do I get out of here? Up! <coughs> this looks a lot nicer. It sounds more dreadful. Because I hear potato monsters. <coughs> Hello, potato. It's the smartest that you throw my gun away. But <coughs> Wasting bullets on spiders is also probably not the best way to go. Now, where were we? Safe. 
I think those are the things that trigger it. So, I'll touch those. There's a fountain. Oh, it's empty. Bastards. <coughs> a lot of keys. That's a problem. Let's go find one of those picks. God, where did I find the pigs at? Here? Pick, 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 you, pick. God, dig me a hole. I shall bash your door in. Who needs keys when you got a pickaxe? Okay, so there's dead things here. He doesn't get injured by spikes. <coughs> Stop him there. Hmm. Well, if he's waiting for me on the other side, I'm going this way. Ah, beat the system. So long, loser. What the fudge? was behind wall number two. Way down. Some money in it and a revolver. Which is good to know. All damage can kiss my behind. Potato monster. I guess we're not going that way then. Instead, we'll be going down here. And this is where we'll stay until the next episode. So, hope you're still enjoying this one. Oh, I still am, though it's starting to look pretty weird. 
But that doesn't take away from the enjoyment factor of this game. So I hope I'll see every one of you back on the next episode. I'm off. Bye everyone. No, seriously. Now I'm off. Goodbye.